It's a beautiful late autumn afternoon here at Swetnam Stud and I've got some wonderful breaking news for you about our new stallion roster. This year we are introducing two new stallions, one a global stallion from the great powerhouse of tailor-made farms and Al Shakab racing in the son of Medaglia Dior called Mushawish. He was a dual group one winner and has only done it on turf and on dirt. The only other two horses have done it this decade, including California Chrome. He's a wonderful addition to our stallion ranks and especially by that great sire Medaglia Dior, who we all know broke some pretty sensational figures at the recent Easter sales in, in Sydney. Wish has the four qualities which you look for in the stallions. He has presence, he has pedigree, he has race performance, and he has price. We put him at 16 and a half thousand, including GST, and I've got to say that will suit all breeders, especially the fact that the sons of Medaglia Dior were averaging 340,000 at the recent sales. Wish's race performances were unique. Not only did he win a Group 1 on dirt, but he also won the all-important Group on turf, featuring the major race at Maidan during the carnival in Dubai. But it's too late for sure Wish in front. Trade Storm second, third of battle, Mushrek and Edu Carido. For sure Wish wins. Trade... We're very proud to, in partnership with TaylorMade and Al Shakab to bring this horse down to Swetnam. And it's exciting for all us breeders because he is a perfect outcross which will suit a lot of our breeding stock down here. He's a very good looking horse. As you can see, his presence, his physical, and the fact that he raced on and raced sound you know, are very important benefits looking forward to this horse. Well, Amshwish is a, it was a terrific horse. Um, very neat, very attractive horse. Um, and of course, beautifully bred by the great Medaglia Doro. Um, he's the only son of Medaglia Doro to win Group 1 races on the dirt and the turf. Um, brilliant turf horse. Um, who was very versatile, um, terrific temperament, uh, well-made horse, and uh, a horse that uh, soon became a favourite with Todd Pletcher and all of his team because of his versatility um, and uh, this ability to show terrific speed and then carry that speed um, over, uh, you know, a mile, mile plus. And I think that's a pretty, pretty lethal weapon to have. So as he showed, you know, with to great effect. Next up is that all-important colonial raced and bred horse, Rebel Dane. He won his first four starts, and then after that, every single race he's raced in has been Group 1s. He won the Group 1 all-impressive in, all Manicado Stakes. He won the Group 1 Ritzer Rupert Clark at Caulfield. He's a phenomenal racehorse, always there or thereabouts. You have a look at his race record. He will suit all breeders down here in Victoria, especially with Super Vobis. Line, they come to it, and Rebel Dane at last, he's won it from Fell Swoop. And through Vobis Sars, you'll be racing for a million dollar two-year-old race and a million dollar three-year-old race in years to come. This horse is very important for Victoria and very important for breeders. These two new exciting stallions join our 2017 Swetnam roster. Well, if you don't know about Toronado now, you certainly have seen his weanling results recently at the Australian weanling sales at Sydney, where he topped out of all Australian sires, he was top of the pops for the best average weanling in Australia. He served 174 mares his first season, 142 mares his second season. This season, he's gonna be again very popular, being the fastest son of his deceased father, Hi Chaparral. We're very excited about this stallion and we're excited about everything which is ahead of us. We even sold a mare in fold to Toronado for half a million dollars being member's joy at the recent sales. I'm going to sell at 500000 dollars I sell her. Of course, we have that very versatile son of Chamadel in Puissance de Lune. His foals are being very well received and breeders who've seen them are coming back to the stallion this year.
This weekend is an important weekend for Victorian breeders. Not only do we have the Vobis Gold race day on Saturday at Caulfield, where Trust and Gus is being presented before the first race. So please come and have a look at him because he has let down to be a magnificent stallion and we are very much looking forward to seeing Trust and Gus's first folds in August. Americane, who is currently at Calumet Farm in Kentucky, is due to be back here in August, as with all the other stallions. He himself has got a featured runner leading into the French Oaks, bred by his co-owner, Jerry Ryan and trained by Stephanie Niagara. So that's exciting news because we're expecting the Americanes to be hitting the two-year-old tracks very soon indeed. And on Sunday, Englishes are having their Vobis sale. So Swetnam are featuring 15 yearlings at this sale, so please come and see us. All our team will be there, Jason, Brian, Rachel, myself, and all the rest. So make sure you come out on Sunday. It's a very good value sale. Thank you very much to you the watchers for engaging with us at Swettenham and especially for all the purchases of our yearlings and underbidders and everybody who's taken a serious interest in watching this Swettenham family journey continue as it does. And please, as I say, anytime our gates are always open for you, the most important person, the breeder, the client and the horse enthusiast to come to Swettenham Stud at any time but by appointment only.